Hey there, it's Natalie, and I'm here in Bentiu in South Sudan, which is a, a, a town that has become completely flooded. Um, it normally floods every year, uh, but it does then subside. The waters recede and it's no longer flooded. But this is the first time since the 1960s, the mid 60s, that this has happened where the water came and it hasn't gone away. So beyond that dike over there uh, is a massive inundated area. And what we're doing here is testing a number of different types of solutions for how do we create food in a flood. This whole area where I am right now is a, is a flood zone. So this will become a complete swamp. And one of the interventions that we've developed here is to create a, basically a raised island bed, a green island called the Chinampas um, or Chinampa after the Aztec model in Xochimilco where that's, you know, in Mexico City, it's a model that they developed to create these raised beds uh, to be able to continue to grow food up above the flood waters. So this place will be up to a meter high off of the ground level in water. And this raised system will allow the community to still access a very fertile bed that we've packed full of fertility, packed full of um, grasses and manure, fish waste, uh, green plants from around. And we've layered that with soil, layered after layer, to create a whole uh, very fertile, rich, uh, you know, enabling environment for a lot of different plants to grow. We've anchored it on the edges with various trees, um, including bananas and guava, but we'll be adding also papaya, pigeon pea. And what that does is it creates root systems that stabilize the soil so that we reduce the erosion. And you can see now what's happening um, is that the community members are creating a bit of a mud lip around the entire edge. And that will help uh, with erosion. It'll help with water retention. And um, we've used these timbers also to, uh, you know, reduce the amount of erosion off of the bed as well. And then you'll see this big trellis that we've created. And what that does is it creates uh, additional growing surface where climbing plants such as pumpkins, cucumbers, and, you know, anything, chocho, chayote, squashes, climbing beans can all grow. And then that creates additional shade that protects the delicate leafy green vegetables and things that were growing inside the bed. This bed is not, you know, necessarily for growing your staple crops like sorghum or maize or millet, uh, but it does provide a space for micronutrient rich, um, you know, dense leafy green vegetables that can be a nutritional supplement to the food distribution, food that is provided by WFP and other actors uh, that is often, you know, um, starchy, starchy staples, oils and things like that, but definitely not green micronutrient dense uh, vegetables. So um, the community here has so far responded very positively. This has been totally co-designed with them. Um, you know, we're all citizen engineers here. We're all teachers. We're all students at the same time, asking questions, designing as we go. Um, we've got a, about a one meter moat around this, which will become filled and that will help to extend the seasonality. So what that means is that uh, during the flood, you know, water will be, you know, irrigating this passively through the rain, but after the rain ends, we'll have this reservoir of water all around the structure uh, with which we can irrigate. We're talking here about very clay rich black cotton soil. It's quite impervious. So this moat will not be infiltrating quickly at all. And it will retain that water that can help to irrigate. And that's it. There's been a great response overall. Um, we don't know if this will work. We're testing new ideas uh, to see, you know, how can we come up with solutions in highly flood prone zones. So we'll see if this works. And if it does, hopefully we can adapt this and create a, a you know, a pattern of this across this whole landscape. It would be much easier to do with machines for sure. Uh, if we could come in with earth, earth moving equipment and do at least the major structure that could then be um, refined by the community. Um, but this is our first shot and we'll see how it goes. Thanks a lot.